About a year ago, my parents had a huge oak cut down from their front yard. And the reason we had it cut down was because it was leaning towards their house. And after we cut it down, we found out that the base of the root had a bunch of rot in the middle. So the tree was going to come down at some point, and when it did, it was going to come down on their house. Um, the tree was about 60 feet tall and about 33 inches in diameter. And we didn't have time to count the rings, but based on some calculations on the internet, the tree could have been anywhere between 80 to 100 years old which is impressive because the house is only 50 or 60 years old. So that means they built the house around this tree when it was pretty young. Um, so that's pretty awesome. But anyways, they cut it down and they allowed me to take two eight foot sections up to a sawmill and have it cut down to eight quarter by eight inch by whatever length they could get out of it. And that is what's behind me. And they allowed me to do that with kind of a promise that I would build each family member something out of part of this wood. My brother wants a rocking chair. My sister doesn't know what she wants yet. I think I'm going to build the frame of a grandfather clock out of some of it, as well as a dining room table. And my parents will get something as well. But those are all really big projects and I need to start with something small because I've never worked with rough cut material before. I need to figure out how to do certain things with my tools that will make up for the tools that I don't have, mainly a jointer planer, which is on the list of things to buy, but that's on a different plan than the workshop. To start with something small, I've always liked the look of the thick butcher block style cutting boards. So I decided to start with that. So let's grab a piece I've already picked out and head up to the workshop and start cutting it down to two inch by two inch strips. <clears throat> Now that I've turned this into these, it is time for the glue up. I'm going to lightly hit all the gluing surfaces with some sandpaper and then use some tight bond two to glue everything together.
the glue having plenty of time to set, we can now pull the cutting board out of the clamps. The next step is to pull out my router sled, go ahead and chuck this up inside of it, and route both of the top and bottom surfaces smooth. shop cleaned up and here we are with the cutting board plain and smooth and thickened across the entire length. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. One thing that I knew going into that is there was going to be a lot of tear out from the bit and that is why I bought the scraper. I did a bunch of reading and if I understand correctly, if I take my time and do that step correctly, I'll be able to get past the tear out pretty easily and have just a smooth silky finish to the uh, entire surface of the board. But before we get to that, I need to cut the rough ends to final length. Then I'm going to round the corners, chamfer all the edges, and then add pockets on the sides so it's easier for me to pick this up. So let's get those out of the way and then I'll get into scraping and I'll come back with hopefully a beautifully finished oak cutting board. Now I would normally use the table saw to cut the ends, but I don't have a sled for my new table saw. So for now we're going to use my circular saw with the guide. the end of a week's worth of work, I have my brand new butcher block style oak cutting board. I am extremely happy with the way it turned out. There are a couple gaps. There's like an inch gap over here and an inch gap over here in the seams um, that didn't quite get fully glued together, but I'm not too concerned about that. Using the router to help smooth everything out, get everything to the right thickness, 
and then using the scraper to clean all that up worked really well. The scraper did a really good job. I think I got through most of the tear out with the scrapers, but there's a couple places that are a little bit deeper than that process will allow. So going forward, if I do anything like this and want a really smooth surface, I'm going to have to get a planer joiner to smooth out the entire surface in one pass. But with that aside, I'm so happy with the way it looks. I've already gone and put three layers of cutting board oil on with 20 minutes in between each coat and it just looks fantastic. I am very excited to have this in my kitchen and I'm looking forward to using it. And with this project wrapped up, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. If you want to help support the channel, there's a short paragraph in the description you can go read. I'm going to take my new cutting board and go prepare dinner. And in the meantime, I hope you go out and do something fun, do something enjoyable, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!